Okay, I think it's recording. Uh man. So last time I played this, <clears throat> it's before Halloween. It's like the fourth today when I'm recording anyway. Probably go up today. Who knows? And I recorded like, I don't know, four videos. Um, I haven't played in a while. It's just been kind of busy, so. Um, one thing I thought of, because I can't get this stupid cork out, but I thought about like, what are other ways to do stuff? The helium. Inhale. Why you can't use any of the other stuff, I don't know. You should be able to. Uh, the pin, I think, is already magnetic, right? Okay. Uh, where is it? There it is. And hey, neat. It points north. Science is fun when you know the secret. It's fun when you know the secret. What does this come out of? Shaving soap. Okay. So I'll probably need that for later. I'm not even quite... Oh, that's right, the insurance money. Quite in the right headspace for this, but, uh, you know what? If you're a ferryman, you must be. do it now. No, I guess I don't. Clean a bunch. Get out trash. A flying Welshman. Oh, One no. of my otherworldly gifts is a preternatural sense of direction. Okay, then. I guess I'll just keep it. Well, I, I hate to see all your effort, you know, go to waste. I thought so. I thought he says he wasn't gonna... Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna do it. Um... Well, who are you? I... I am know the lost Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Also, Trapped someone broke a battery so charger. I don't even know how. I'll, I'll, I'll just get up on my chair. Mists. We're just falling apart. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. For how expensive this chair really? was. I like mist. Does not last pretty. that long. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But he gad is it And it's dull. not like a... Like, I have to sit kind of back in it. I mean, it's comfortable when I want to put the, the legs up and I play a game that needs a controller. It's super comfy then. Or if I just want to sit back in, a, in my chair by myself and watch something, it's comfy then. But, like, it is not the greatest for this. And I have to get, like, this arm support. All right. Let's get ready to Skull Island. Out to Skull Island, please. All right, let's do kind of a short, funny video of Modern Warfare 2. I plan on doing some other stuff. But, like, some things I'd like to see them add or change. Just since they're kind of going a little bit realistic when it comes to certain things. I mean, I, I'm probably, I don't even know if I'll ever make the video. I always say I'm going to make a video. I think of it. I even write it up. The bravest of men Get scripts for it. The horror of and this then it doesn't. Place. I don't do it. Or make Steal script. your courage, boy, now. <laughs> before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face That's right. of Skull I tried to record this last I week. I don't remember what happened. And I got to... That's a duck. What are you talking about? A little jumping off the cliff. This oh, island doesn't look it. like a skull at all. It and looks it, like a great, just big, enormous crash. duck. I don't know why. It should be called Duck Island. The well, game crashed after recording. You gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, it's just so scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Well, anyway, see that light... The funny thing was, I said it, it kind of can look like That's a bunny when you do that, like, before you said it. It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Kruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless I think he's from one of the previous games, too, because he looks really familiar. Like, I just gotten in there, Thanks. start talking when this... So, like the game crash. Um, so the one thing I was going to say, Modern Warfare, uh, in case I don't make the video, one thing I really want them to change, <clears throat> if I'm aiming my rifle, and I, I do this all the time, where I'm in the rifle and I'll reload it, and keep my aim sights, but I'm not, my mag wasn't empty when I reloaded it, so there's a round in the chamber. If I pull that magazine out, I should still be able to fire one round. But for whatever reason you can, all the time, it happens where I'll go like, click, while I'm trying to like reload, Especially if it's like, you know, a bolt action sniper. I've shot a guy, racked around, and it's a magazine fed. I pull the magazine out. I absolutely have a round in there. I should be able to get a kill with that. That should totally change. Can you that. tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull in Most Island? games, if it's you made. interrupt a reload, oh, you should be able to Wait a second. Uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. 
and the cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. Never used it before, but uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. Left foot or left foot? I mean, that is his left foot. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You, you must weigh no more than say. I'll split off the cat's miles, the office because right? they're actually more like being a little crazy point. boys today. Oh, well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this? Oh yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Okay, that's too much slack. Ah! Or, oh. It's just you. So there you go. I figured out last time because it was like, so that you'll fall down and you just get right back to go up. Uh, but it was like my newest item. And I was like, eh, I'll probably use that, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, this. I'm pretty sure these guys were in a previous game. Okay. Um. Good afternoon. I'm the new Skull Island small. Diamond Inspector. I'm going to have to see every diamond you've got. Every last one. Come on, people. Chop, chop. I don't have all day. I do not like this man. Kill him. Darn. Damn. Let me try that again. So, uh, where's this huge diamond you guys are supposed to have? <laughs> Darn. Let me try that again. Stand aside or I'll strike you down. Uh, I'll strike you down with how polite and reasonable I can be. We <laughs> seem to have an unwanted visitor, Gruff. Deal with him. Darn. Let me try that again. I want that, that big sword there. It's freaking sweet, man. And they got little bunnies everywhere. I guess it's part of a ship that's in here. It's a pretty kind of sweet hideout. Hi there, neighbor. Got any diamonds? Wouldn't you know, but I'm fresh out. Go away. Darn. Let me try that again. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, oh, Mr. Didn't get water. Uh... Good, good soup. Wonton good, good soup. soup. Very well, Mr. Threeport. Hey, how did you know my... It is my business to know who enters and leaves Skull Island. I am King Andre, and this is my associate, Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. LeChuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. Damn. Please, sir. Take charge. We have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate or pirate in trading could possibly want is here for the right price. <laughs> what is this thing? It looks like a golden, like, multi-tier cake or something. You're evading the whole diamond issue. The good soup diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. Ooh, stop yawning. Uh, maybe we can make a deal. Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood. But it looks as That's if right. a game of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond. One of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Well, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Not enough. My partner is right. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards. Uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you mean for that the one. diamond. Sounds fair. Yes. Fair. Could <laughs> 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 you stop laughing like that? It's very unnerving. Why are you not gonna open your mouth? So, Mr. Like, ha, 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 the question is to you. 
care to join us in a game of cards? Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. You will have oh. to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This is a lot of money. I better only give them part of it. Have you ever played poker before, Mr. Threeport? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> Texas Hold'em is a lot of fun. Brief the right people. This Always the right people. The simplest variety of five card start. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? Of course I trust you. Very well. I figured you're going to start they're all like no insults. Whammies, no whammies. Damn. Dude, you're fucking hammering those cards out. Look at your cards. What I got? Weak hands. Two spades, three of hearts, four of clubs, eight of clubs, and uh, king of diamonds. What a terrible hand. Uh, I've got an ace of death. I have a pair. You lose, Mr. Threeport. Perhaps you should try again. No thanks. No thanks. So. <clears throat> Brother. Oh, man. <coughs> what am I doing? <coughs> oh, this shirt smells good. Just gotta have the laundry. Brother accidentally gave that away. I don't think I'd I'd get it right away, but Excuse me. I'd like to go back to Blood Island. Me too. I know this what I have to do. Creeps. He accidentally told me I guess he hadn't seen the lace feed or something. I have to get more tarot cards. And that way I get, um... Oh, man. What the heck? Which is funny, because I, I, I think I might have said that in another video where... I thought I got more cards or something. Like, yeah, I keep asking reading her fortune, she keeps screaming. But then the other guy complains, and I don't want to hear him complain, so... Your wonton's back, motherfucker. Wonton soup! I think it sounds pretty good. I'll go for some wonton soup. I didn't even know the last time I had soup. Ever. Not ever, but like last time I had it. Alright. Give me them cards. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist. Once again, it is death. Mine. Give it. I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is your destiny. Whatever. Let's see what the cards say this time. The card says death. Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? Okay, okay. Hit me. Death! How many of those cards do you have, anyway? How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you, and no man can interfere. Your China path is. has been determined. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time for Guybrush. For Guybrush. <gasps> Let me guess. <gasps> Death? Leave this place. Huh? Damn. You are putting us she all can in fucking great smell what the rock is cooking. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well, demon! Demon! Yeah, I don't want to hear that guy screaming at me during that. Stop! Uh. I've got five death cards. Sweet. That All can't right. be good. No. Oh man. So I uh, <clears throat> I've been playing 2042 Battlefield 2042. Keep me to make a video about it. I had a bunch of really good clips, then I was just like, eh. just like most clips, I'll get a bunch and then not do anything with it. 
And then I've been getting into Modern Warfare 2 since it's come out because it's been a lot of fun with friends. But, uh, man, if you are okay on Modern Warfare 2, but you like. I get some good matches, some bad ones. The other day I had like, three chopper gunners. <clears throat> or maybe it was two in a match and then one in a falling match. Like, I was kicking butt, man. And, uh, you know, I play some 2042. Dude, my first game, like a 9 to 1 KD, please. man. Right, I feel like a hero go. in that game. Oof. If I have any to boost my confidence, just go play that. That's way more of a casual shooter. The time to kill is so much higher. And the, uh... Oh, I can look around. Treasure chests. Expensive Hater. thing. Oh, Hands up! Oh, I was man. just looking. Ooh, that felt good. Oh, my neck. I'd like to buy something really piratey. Of course. Really piratey things are, of course, our specialty. Our Can specialty. I interest you in a peg leg? Well, that depends on yeah. what you do with it. That was a joke. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. I don't quite follow you, but I'm sure... Guybrush. Officially canon into pegging. How about toys? Do you have any toys? As a matter of fact, a new shipment just arrived yesterday. They're sure to be bestsellers. Here, take one. Sweet. Let's build a sand castle. It's a little baby LeChuck. Set sail for fun. My name's LeChucky. LeChucky. I'll cut out your tongue and make you eat it in a sandwich. At least a sandwich is a pretty good form to eat things in. I want to play for the diamond again. Put up your side of the wager, Mr. Threepwood. Very well. Let us begin. That being said about sandwich, I could go for a good BLT. Take a moment to look at your cards. He's so cute. I wonder if I could just. Oh! Leaving so soon, Mr. Threepwood. I was just stretching my legs. I want to keep playing. Yes. I, I did not mean to do that. I was going to say, I wonder if we could take the chisel and just, you know, stab him. Five of a kind. Right there. Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. <sighs> You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I am talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen, let's not be too hasty. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiot! You blew out the lights! I got the diamond. Not for long, you Oh no! Oh, I remember He's this. here, not me, you cretin! Who are you calling a poor? Oh, I thought he was shooting. Get him! Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guybrush. Thanks. What? You can't mean... I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Scab Island. Well, you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere. Beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. Good boy. Hello? Oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by Northeast. You can't miss it. Ah, oh, thanks a bunch. Yeah, you're welcome. Ah, whoops. I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass-like properties for a short time. He said he has supernatural ability to tell where everything, or like, to find his way. Despite evidence against that where he couldn't get back here without the lighthouse. Monkey. Oh, 
Oh, it's right there. Another group of recruits for my army of the undead. Now, how goes the search for my bride to be? Where's Dingy Dog? I found him! I found him! <laughs> oh golly, oh gosh! <laughs> That's right! Where? Hey, bro. Uh, they're on Blood Island, sir. Yeah. Really? Damn. Okay, that's elite. Blue. Nope, you can't stop me. Gonna save her face. Gotta combine this it's with a this. Massive diamond engagement ring. Hell yeah, let's put it on her fin bars. Slip. <laughs> oh! Are you all right? Guybrush? Web? Where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. Hey, I was gonna say I beat the game. Whoa. Part five. Kiss of the spider monkey. That monkey got lips. That be well spoken, pet. But save your breath, lass. You'll be needing it for when you scream. I do. Where, where are we? Don't you be remembering this place, Freewood. It was not long ago when I trapped you here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, it's pretty rude. Bro. I can remember. I've seen this place before. Some terrible nightmare. It was no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Nightmare. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. That's a Star Wars no. reference. It can't be, but it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. I, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend! Why have you brought us here? There be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I be intended to torture and kill ye, and I'll be given Elaine a treasure. Ah, uh, you're wasting your time with Chuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with ye. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood, when I tell thee that Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves! Oh, why is that a treasure? Yeah. Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh. She loves me. Does not. Her earrings almost like the exact same color as her skin. That looks weird. Well, maybe she had really big gauges and she just took them out. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did. Down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all. Immortality! But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> Granted, the people may find me a bit unapproachable now. And the smell does take a while to get used to. But it'd be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. Consent is key. I've heard enough of your evil stories. Let's get this over with. But there'll be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. 
See, I'm ignoring you. Ah, you'd better listen. No. La 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 la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. Very well, Freeport. If you're going to act like a child, I'll help you get in the mood. I think you deserve a timeout, young man. Eep. <laughs> it's not locked. Your plan was full. I forgot. Chuck, yeah. Except for one minor detail. That will be your downfall. It's a little baby guy brush. That's where Conor McGregor got He's his walk from. On his roller coaster of death. I, gotta I might have to edit that shit in. Dead bride. What's happened to me? Hey, it's Murray. Dead, foggy. Can't think. I'm swimming. Must concentrate and rescue Elaine. I've got to save Elaine. But how can I save Elaine when I'm just a little boy? If only I could think straight. Must clear my mind. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Whoop Carnival, little guy. Come on over here and meet your old pal, Dingy Dog. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, it's a dream. Man, I've had that wand forever. I wonder if I had the balloon. When did I even get the, the balloon? I think at the very beginning of the game, the balloons are on the back of the, like, the bumper car. Freaking... I don't even remember what's on the skeleton arm. What is that? It's a skeleton arm with paste all over it. Gross. I don't like you, dingy dog. Let me in. I can't go back there. I'm what? deathly afraid of mimes. Oh, me. Fair enough. I've got a pie pan full of shaving cream. Just notice this. What are you doing over there? I found this pie, mister. Hey, thanks, kid. I... Wait a second, wait a second. This isn't a real pie. It's not heavy enough. Hey, just what are you trying to pull here, Pipsqueak? Nothing. Honest. Never mind. It's already full of shaving cream. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. My mask of tofu won't do anything. No, that would be pointless. I'm gonna find a rock somewhere. You. Yeah, kid, what is it? Yikes, what is that horrible smell? It's a giant rat suit, you little brat. What did you expect, roses? Am I the only one nauseated by that terrible stench? Okay, okay, the suit smells. We've heard it. Everybody just come over and pick on the giant rat man. What are you guys doing here? It's blow the man down, the most fun in the midway. Hit the funny clown and win a fantastic prize. Watch the pies fly from the cannon with blinding speed and loud report. And if your aim is true, go home with your winnings. Join in the laughs with your happy sailor host, Warfrat, and his pal, Monty Meringue. What flavor? What? What flavor are the pies today? I don't know. Lemon meringue, I think. What kind of a stupid question is that? I want to shoot the cannon. I want to yeah. shoot the cannon. Let's Sorry, go. Sorry, boy. You're too young. Blow the man down is for older kids. That's discrimination. How do I know it really works if I can't see it go off? Okay, kid. You want to see the cannon fire? Here we go. What in the world is meringue? I don't know, kid. Whipped egg whites, I guess. I think that is what it is. Is that sugar or something? I don't know. Never mind. Take okay, a boy. Right, I guess go talk to you, dingy dog. How can I win one of these? I want Murray. Surprises? Well, that's easy, <laughs> matey. If I can't guess your weight or your age, you get to pick what you want. What's the catch? <laughs> There's no catch. It's just that easy. 
I'll bet you can't guess how old I am. <laughs> bet you I can. A little fearsome buccaneer like yourself must be seven years old. Ha! Wrong. I just so happen to be 20. <laughs> well, I you have only 20? proof for your old pal Dingy Dog? You calling me a liar? <laughs> you bet I am. <laughs> you bet I am. Right here. Scum Actors Guild membership card. Guybrush Threepwood, age 20? I suppose you're right. Suck it, Dingy. Pick your prize. I want Murray. Give me Murray. I really want that talking skull. Yeah. <laughs> With my unfettered demonic might, we will rule the world. Fuck yeah, Murray. Let's go. You're right, Murray. If I had all that power, the temptation for evil would be too great. No. Take I'll take it away, son. But Murray. Congratulations. You can't leave, Murray. Enjoy your stay here at Big Wolf. So I kind of figured out the uh. Look into your heart. I'm the, the prize you really want. Saw the anchor sitting there, and the anchor's the what? You pick the anchor? Well, it's a really it's nice like the anchor. Only one over there. Sorry. Got a point, bro. Now it's a heavy pie pan full of shaving cream. What are you doing over there? I found this pie, Mister. Huh? Oh yeah, thanks, kid. Shoot it! Shoot it! Not right now. Oh, but I want to see the cannon fire. Beat cheeks, half pint. Look, man, I pay Beat your salary. Cheeks. You want me to tell the check you've got on happy kids running around here? Okay, okay, you little. Yes. Fuck it. <laughs> Dead. Did you just hear something? No. Weird. Maybe it's the acoustics of that smelly giant head. Shut up, kid. Damn, bro. What good is a dumb hunk of iron anyway? I know, Murray. I... It's not even a real anchor. I know. Dude, Murray, you're like my favorite character. I'm a real talking skull. Yeah, you're pretty sweet, bro. After all we've been through together. Nah. Nah. Fine. Take the stu- Yoo-hoo. Stinky Mr. Rat. Hey, get out of there, you little punk. What no. are you going to do about it, vermin boy? Yeah. This will teach you. I played enough vermin tide. I know how to deal with rats. Oh, I'm guessing I needed that for something. You would have made a lousy undead monster anyway. Hey! I built some fantastic I'm necromancers. Going to for an owner who understands my need to bring okay, fear that's and a bitch. pestilence on the likes of you. Just try to guess how much I weigh. Alrighty. <laughs> let Dingy have a look at you, little guy. Uh, let me see here. I figure a strapping little pirate like you must weigh ooh, 98 pounds. Ha! The joke's on you. I just look like a little boy. In actuality, I'm a mighty pirate weighing in at 98 pounds. This is really embarrassing. Am I not eating right? I've been working out. Get out of here before I call up the demonic legions of Hades. I don't think he'd like that. I don't think he'd like that. If you value your life, the magic powers need to be focused on something else. The magic wand has no effect on that. <laughs> Can I just talk to Murray? I want to talk to Murray. Hey, Murray. Murray? I'm not speaking to you. How could you pick that anchor over your best friend? I'm sorry. The way the music fades out creeps me out, man. What kind of snow cones do you have? <laughs> what kind of cones did you ask? Why, I have every kind imaginable. I have the most distinct type of snow cones in the world. In fact, my cones are so original, so inventive, and so <laughs> unique that most are completely inedible. Let me list some for you. 
I have sweet cones, meat cones, cold cones, mold cones, bold cones with lime, cones with slime, <laughs> veggie cones, wedgie cones, hedgy cones. I used some of my neighbor's edge in that one. Cones with spice, cones with lice, berry cones, hairy cones, dairy cones, and the Christmas, oh, 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 merry cone. So, what do you think of that? Hmm. No. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. <laughs> Bye now. I think I'm suddenly remembering some shit here. Oops, my snow cone melted. <laughs> now that's not very nice, little boy. Come on, now stop hitting your pal Ding no. Dong. I'm telling what to do. I'm not gonna warn you again. Good bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. you. Cut that out. No. Yeah, you really starting to bug me, kid. Good. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> that does it. You're going down, little punk. <laughs> Ow, he bit me. Hey, give me back that hair, kid. You're ruining the suit. So... I started to remember the snow cones would made me think. And then I looked at the recipe. Egg? Rang this whipped egg white. Hair of the dog that bit me. Now I need pepper. Is that gonna cure what I got going nope. on? <laughs> that ride's just for bigger kids. Um like, a dead dude is so grody, man. I guess they're all pretty grody here, but just the flies buzz around creep me out. No, no, is there... How do I, uh... No. Is there anything else back here, I guess? Ooh, push him. Violence solves most problems, right? So I'd better not. I think it could take me. Fair enough. Um Give me that shit. <clears throat> I'll take that old snow cone for you. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. No, mm, bye now. Mmm, hairy. That meringue looks tasty. Disgust disgusting is right. Yeah. The pepper helps, though. I was trying to do this like Fwing! Change back. There we go! That was the whole thing was part five? That was a pretty short chapter. Ooh, damn. Guy versus face down there. He's, he's, he's fucking ready, bro. Okay. So... I don't remember this part much. Too late for me to get out. Where are 
are they? Hey, it's my little pal. Also, just kind of skipped everything else. It's a Dynamo Monk Electric Wally. Look at he looks so lifelike. Hey, wait a minute. He really is Wally. Could you please stop that annoying swinging? I'll save him after I defeat LeChuck. Mm, no. Mm, no. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! She could just go into powder her nose, and I haven't seen her since. I can't even believe that I fell for that one again. Now stand still, boy, so I can flame broil. <laughs> I don't think you can lose. Jump. Um. Yeah, let's go up there. I I'm pretty sure I beat it as a kid. I just don't remember. I, I remember the roller coaster part and like you would come along and like do stuff. It's every sailor's worst nightmare, the giant snowy ape. Um. The magic wand has no effect on that. Maybe later. Hmm. I don't remember. Hopefully I didn't like soft lock myself. I was like, is he jumping in or not? Let's go. Uh let's pick up that rope. I ain't got rope. I had a feeling he'd turn up sooner or later. It's a mechanical Herman tooth rod. It's a sturdy piece of rope. Oh, well, that guy. Ah, you again. If you've ridden me, Coaster, why haven't you been boiled in me molten pool of lava? He's down there. Mm. Elaine must have fiddled with me controls and rerouted the tracks. I she'll be the death of me yet. I mean, again. <laughs> but curses if I can't. I wonder, did this game get released early? Death. Like. <laughs> I can't push him or anything. Every time I last uh -oh. one, come on, get yeah. poppies, get on there. Um, oh uh, yeah, I wonder if it got like like rushed, and that's why. Oh, there's a new one. Can I go rum? Let's break that. Oh yeah, Rum Rogers. Who's that? It's Rum Rogers Senior, as he appeared in life. It's Captain Marley, Elaine's grandfather. Cool. <laughs> Trying to see what all the scenes are. Too late for me to get out. Get up here, there's a lantern. By itself, this rope would make a lousy fuse. Chuck. I free would. It be me, your worst nightmare. You'll be sorry you ever set foot here on Monkey Island when I'm through with you. Uh oh. Ouch! 
Um, okay. I didn't see anything else up there. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Too late for me to get okay. out. I'm just gonna jump on the next one. Don't check inventory. Um, and nine pie. I'd rather keep these pie bits for a better time. I'd rather keep these pie bits for a better time. Oh, paste. I can't paste that. I can't paste that. I missed that car. It's Rap Scallion, the forgetful Weenie Hut restaurant tour. Again. I'll be chasing around this roller coaster till you be my undead slave, Greenwood. That's not cool, bro. Uh oh. Um. Ouch! Wow! <laughs> Get out here. Okay, but I can't combine it. Is it. By itself, this rope would make a lousy fuse. No, that would no, that would be pointless. I can't paste it for sure. Oh. Ouch. Jeez, that's by itself. This rope would make a lousy fuse. I can't use the rum with that. It's too hot to pick up. I can't use the skeleton. Then. Ah! Uh, I do have plans. I might just look it up real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna look it up real quick. Is this thing on the game? I'm sure I'm missing something small. Uh, curse. Uh, monkey. Island. Chapter six. Uh, no, not for two. Uh, Alright, we need to do something. Each one, see the link. You're the rogue. Take your own. Alright, open up lantern. Blow the flame tape. That's it. Every time, it's the mouth. Too late for me to get out. It's always the mouth the, that like throws me off every time. So I know I know how to get the next item, and it's the lantern. I have to blow out the freaking candle. You do something every round. So I got rope there. I got a keg of rum. There's the the uh, the rum, not the rum, the the lantern. I got the rum there. I don't know my kitchen. I try to use I. There, it's soaked in oil and probably cool. <laughs> Darn, here he comes. I and I'll keep a cup so, for as long as it takes I made a to bomb. make one of the undead. Do I like? No. Okay. There's so there's. I did something in each one except for the monkey one. I was just like, oh, there's a monkey. And I'm guessing there's something with. Um. The Chuck's gonna show up and burn me. Okay, now I'm confused. And that's the only thing to interact here, and there's not a lot to interact in other places. Okay. Can I just use it? No, I can't do that from here. What do you mean, that from here? How do I... I don't have anything to light it with? 
The magic wand has no effect on that. LeChuck's on fire. He's trying to burn me. I still have the pepper milk. Can I make him sneeze? Up easily, do you? He has I no nose. Give up, and I have all eternity to hold you. That's solve it. That's a lot bigger explosion. Two deaths, one game. That's right. Yeah, that ending felt pretty like rushed. Like I went from oh, I went from transforming back to adult just instantly I'm on the roller coaster. I felt like the carnival was supposed to be way longer. Run, mortal. But do not forget your arch nemesis, Murray. Mark my words. I shall okay. return to haunt you. Well, do you hear um, me? I shall return. Curse <laughs> of Murphy has been rushed. This is so unfair. Secret history show. Okay. Mm, okay, what is this whole article? First you have extreme long- Okay, so as far as most of the game, I have to admit that the complaints about the ending are almost completely justified. It's been to the obvious they ran out of time to properly do the monkey item carnival and rushed it terribly. First you have an extreme long dialogue with the to answer the question left by previous games that really should have been revealed organically as quite long. Yeah. Then you have to trick yourself with a mild, mildly illogical puzzle and a secret that lasts too long in too small an area. That was, dude, it was like 10 minutes. Uh, if only we'd been able to explore the whole car instead of just listening. Supposedly after there was a, supposedly after there was a sequence cut, and it's very obvious because suddenly Guy was on the cart and Lane has somehow escaped the truck with no explanation. The end game is boring and anticlimactic, and it's a real shame because you really get the feeling that they, if they had had time, really could have made something special. Yeah. Uh, my thought is Ron Gilbert's comment about how Lane and Guybrush would never have gotten together, having not played or even heard of the other games before playing. I have no preconceived notions, and I guess that's why it never bothered me. I can see what Ron was talking about now, but it's pretty obvious that the third in the series was taken in a completely different, lighter direction from the original two games. Especially the second, which had a fairly dark undertone of dread and fear despite the silliness and wackiness that abound. So I don't think I've ever played the second one even once. And then, you know, the original one I got stuck in that stupid thing that, like, it just didn't work or something. Or, I don't know, I'm pretty dumb, so I probably just didn't get it. Oh, and this was on a... It was on mix, mixandmojo.com? I don't know what that is. Okay, well... That's the end of that. Uh, yeah, that's Monkey Island. Uh, one of my favorite adventure games. I don't even know if I've beaten it every time. I think I usually get to Blood Island, have fun there, and then I just end the game. Because I remember playing it a lot as a kid, like, I don't know. Going back to it every once in a while, for whatever reason. Anyways, uh, hey, I finished the series. You can't complain. Uh, certain someone, uh, because I didn't finish, uh, the Half-Life. Just a final explanation on that. I tried to record the next part like five times and it just, it was giving me like five frames a second and I don't know why it didn't make any sense. So I said, screw it. And then another time it worked, but then like it didn't record audio and it was just annoying the crap out of me. So I said, screw it. All right, well, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that's Monkey Island. Uh, Guess I need to install the next game. Alright, well, bye.